YouTubers, what's up? It's Sally Hardesty, and today's video is another conspiracy theory. All these theories today are going to be regarding Danielle B, aka the Catch Me Outside, how about that girl from Dr. Phil. Catch me outside, how about that? Catch you outside? What does that mean? What I just said. If you don't know who she is, you're probably living under a rock. She is a viral meme. She blew up from being on that show. She has like almost 6 million followers on Instagram now. She's everywhere. She's everywhere. But I just want to give a couple disclaimers before jumping into this video. For one, when I make these types of conspiracy theories, a lot of people seem to think that I'm throwing shade on these YouTubers or these celebrities. I am most certainly not. I'm a huge fan of Danielle. I think she's hilarious. If anything, if she ever did happen to see this video, she'd probably just laugh or be like, true. Also, I get a lot of comments regarding the fact that these aren't really that scary or spooky. They're just more so interesting because I don't use background music. I don't talk like this the whole time. They're not really intended to be spooky. They're more so just kind of laying out some information that tells you that things may not always be the way that they seem and I find them really fascinating. So now without further ado, let's just jump into this video. The first conspiracy theory regarding Danielle is that she is actually a Mandela effect. If you don't know what a Mandela effect is, I'm not going to get too much into that. Most people are aware. It's basically where you remember something being a certain way and then it's not. In this case, I distinctly remember her being on Dr. Phil a long time ago for the whole Catch Me Outside thing. Not December of 2016, which is the date that that show aired, according to YouTube, and I couldn't find anywhere else that had aired earlier. There was no record of it airing earlier than 2016. But I distinctly remember when that blew up, I was telling my friend, I don't understand why this went viral all of a sudden when this has been out for years. And when you look it up online, there are a lot of people who seem to agree with that and who seem to think otherwise as well. They recall seeing that on Dr. Phil a long time ago, like late 200s, like 2009 or so. If you look it up online, you just type in Catch Me Outside Girl Mandela Effect or Catch Me Outside Girl Conspiracy Theories. There are so many other people who remember it being this way. Like I'm not the only one. I would put a bunch of money on the fact that it was aired back then but there is no record of it airing before December of 2016 that we can find. There's not much more I can say regarding that other than the fact that I am not the only person who remembers it airing like long before it did. I was completely convinced that it just blew up out of random because sometimes that does happen with videos like they'll just kind of be on YouTube and they'll go viral randomly. It doesn't always happen usually it's kind of right when they're posted but I figured that was the case for Danielle because I totally 110% remember her being on the show a long time ago. I don't watch the show on TV, but I do watch like all the YouTube videos from Dr. Phil. I'm subscribed to his channel. And I remembered her being on there so long ago, not just her being on the show, but that phrase from a long time ago, like a while back. So call me crazy, but I am not the only person in the world who remembers it being that way. If you remember her being on the show earlier than when it blew up, leave a comment below because I definitely think that there is some type of Mandela effect going on there because the fact that so many other people on the internet are saying this as well, and I remembered it being that way, like, does she have a twin? I don't understand. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Moving on to the second conspiracy theory. There's a lot of stuff I have to say about this, and that is that she was on Dr. Phil and it was staged. Like, not saying that she wasn't on there for a reason and that she doesn't really act that way in real life. Like, clearly she does. But if you guys have seen Sierra Watts' video, that's my good friend on YouTube, shout out to her and shout out to her channel. She made a video kind of like exposing Dr. Phil because she was 15 and pregnant and she was supposed to be on the show, but then she wasn't for a few reasons. One of them being the fact that they wanted her to act a certain way that she wasn't. They wanted her to be portrayed as like this person who was just really promiscuous and just, you know, got knocked up at 15, but that was like totally not the case for her in her situation. So she was never on the show. And this is the case for a lot of reality shows or shows similar to Dr. Phil. I have a really good friend who is gonna be on one show. I'm not gonna say the name of it because I think she's gonna make a YouTube video one day, but they wanted her to act a certain way on that show as well. So she ended up not going on that show either. I haven't had a personal experience with Dr. Phil, but I did with the show Catfish. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I was actually going to be on the show. There was a really extreme situation. I have story times on it. And I think that they were really interested in having me because I was a YouTuber. I didn't have that big of a following at the time. Like I still don't now, but still it kind of makes things more interesting. And they were really, really curious to like know this whole dramatic backstory, which was real. It really happened, but you could 
tell they just wanted to like hype things up and that's what they do on the show because on the show they make it seem like they found out in the moment but really there's like so much preparing that happens in advance before you actually go on the show and everything's laid out for you a lot of people have said that she was gonna get dr phil publicity because she had all these instagram followers but when you look at everything on social blade she gained like 4.5 million within the last 30 days so you can only assume that she basically gained all her following like after dr phil so i don't necessarily think that's the case if you guys saw sort of recently danielle was invited back on dr phil and this time there wasn't an audience the first time she was on the show she was like the hoes are laughing like referring to the audience so when she came back on the second time she was like where the hose because the audience wasn't there it was just her and dr phil sort of like one-on-one -on -one. did did you say the 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 hoes are laughing yep so the audience are a bunch of hoes yep hello what's up girl where's everybody have a seat there's no hose no place is empty you know this guy oh it's shane there's no hose i thought it would be best if we met alone rather than um with an audience full of people. There's no show unless there's hoes. So it's almost like, come on, like you said it the first time, everyone got a kick out of it, so you're gonna like say it again. You can just sort of tell in a way that they're trying to like bounce off of how well it did the first time. Again, not saying that the whole entire thing was staged, I just definitely think that a lot of it was made to look a certain way and there's a ton of things that you can look up regarding this he's not even like a real doctor i'm not going to get into that too much again you guys can go ahead and watch sierra's video because she explains her experience with how she decided not to be on the show and there are so many reality tv shows and people have like come out and said similar type of things the third conspiracy theory here regarding Danielle is the fact that she's actually i shouldn't say the fact the conspiracy that she's actually not 13 that she's actually much older than 13 if you look her up on famous birthdays she is 13 years old but i mean famous birthdays they're not always on their ish about stuff and does she look 13 to you she does not look 13 to me like i'm 20 years old and she looks a lot older than me just saying there's not really any evidence to back that up other than the fact that people just do not think she's 13 so yeah this is kind of like a stupid conspiracy but i just thought i'd throw that in there she also knows how to market herself really well like she's basically made a living off of that catchphrase that she said on dr phil so it's just really interesting to see how well she's doing at such a young age in like every way like you can say what you want about her but she's pretty mature and she's like taking advantage of all this pretty well and like making it into a business and i didn't know how to do that at 13 like now the last and final conspiracy regarding danielle is the whole sprint airlines controversy and if you don't know what i'm talking about basically she was on a flight with her mom i believe it was after she was like coming home from the dr phil show and she got into a fist fight with someone because the lady was like being rude to her mom when her mom was like putting the luggage above them and she was like catch me outside how about that to danielle and danielle like stalked her publicity stunt because no shade to spirit airlines but like who really flies with them like i don't know it's all about southwest over here so i think that definitely got them some exposure especially because they didn't do anything wrong in this situation it wasn't like there was some scandal where like their pretzels were poisoned or they had bad service personally it was like a customer and then danielle and they basically broke up the fight and now both of them like her mom danielle and the other lady they're all banned from spirit airlines damn happy I don't have to fly Spirit Airlines no more. Bitch, my little dumb ass looking boy. But anyways, bitch, like, they think that they finna, like, make me mad, make me cry some shit by banning me from they little pissy pussy thigh ass. Like, bitch, you're, they didn't even have TVs on that plane, and their snack tray was, like, this big. Like, what, are you gonna offer me a cracker, a m and m Like, thank you so much for banning me, Spirit Sprit shit. But the thing is, no one pressed charges. Like, if it was really that serious where you had to like punch some lady and the lady's like yelling in your face or at your mom or whatever, don't you think that further action would have been taken afterwards? There would have been some type of lawsuit or something. And it was right after the Dr. Phil show, like, I don't know. Obviously she totally could have been recognized in public, but again, going back to the other conspiracy, like, catch me outside, how about that? It's just too perfect almost that 
these catchphrases just seem to be happening when they get banned from Spirit Airlines. It definitely got them a bunch of publicity, especially the way that they handle it. They were really professional, like, oh, they're banned from Spirit now. We handle the situation, blah, blah, blah. It just would make a lot of sense if that was a publicity stunt and that was sort of like planned in advance. Maybe the lady was a paid actor, like, I don't know. I just don't doubt that sort of thing. So overall, these are some of the conspiracies I have for Danielle, things that I've read about, things that I've kind of drew my own conclusion on based on some information. You can look all these up on Google. They're like easily really searchable if you want to like check it out for your own. There's a lot of testimonies regarding the Dr. Phil show as a whole and just all this kind of sort of stuff because it's not really just in relation to Danielle or the Dr. Phil show, but I guess reality TV shows, etc. as a whole. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave me a big thumbs up and comment below with your thoughts. I'm always really curious. A lot of people are like, you're crazy. None of these are true, but I'm just giving you guys the information. You can draw your own conclusions. I really don't care if you believe them or not. I believe majority of these besides the one about her being 13. Like I, she's probably 13, but she just looks a lot older. So good for her. Again, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell next to the subscription box. That way you are notified when I upload new videos, follow my social media. If you want to keep in contact with me outside of YouTube, I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Later alligators. Bye.